New at nine, two million dollars. That's how much Inola High School is in the running to win for improvements to its football field and other athletic equipment. We're all pulling for him. This is all part of the T-Mobile Friday Night Lights competition. Fox 23's Kaylee Carnine is live in the newsroom after talking with students and faculty this afternoon about what this means for this small school and how you can help them out. Kaylee. Well, right now, Inola is in third place, the only school in Oklahoma in the competition. They're asking for just a few clicks on Instagram to earn them a major makeover. The facilities itself need desperately the attention, but just like the kind of Cinderella moment of it being a small town that can, gets neglected, that has this beautiful makeover moment. I know what Oklahoma, a town with a population of around 2,000 people. They're a small town with a big goal to win the T-Mobile Friday night football competition, $2 million for athletic facilities. It's a transformative experience. Um, we're a small school and like many in Oklahoma, there's not a lot of money to go around. Facilities go downhill, things don't get replaced. Um, it would be a life-changing moment for the students here. Student Council Advisor Dalia Meeker was given a flyer for the competition by a community member, wanting to get her students involved in something she applied. And things took off from there. She says Inola is in desperate need of this money. Even just this weekend, our, uh, our scoreboard went out. and We just don't have money to replace that. Our turf needs to be replaced. Our, one of our quarterbacks actually tripped on um, a hole in the turf this season and tore up his knee. Um, so he's out for the season. Head football coach Brett Thomas agrees that this would be a game changer. Actually, our turf is, we're up for new turf. Um, and it's about 600,000 replace it. Um, this is year 10, I believe. So, yeah, the turf's in kind of rough shape. Uh, we keep it, try to condition it, but it's still pretty rough. It's falling apart. Coach Thomas says it's exciting to see his senior leaders get involved with this too. Connor Pratt and Rowdy Rock helped organize the competition. They won't get to play or experience the new facilities if they win, but they're excited to leave their own legacy. I mean, it's pretty special. I know we if, if we do win, we obviously won't get to play on it or anything like that, but one thing that the coaches have always told us as seniors, you have to build culture. So it's something that will start from everybody below us. We'll get to have it, and I think that's very special. And I mean, hopefully, I get my name somewhere. I mean, that'll be that'll be pretty nice. Everyone says that this has just re-energized this small town, and it's become a whole community thing. Live in the newsroom, covering news that matters. Kaylee Carnine, Fox 23 News. And again, to vote, go to the Inola High School Instagram, that's IHS Proud, then like their pinned video. The last day to vote and submit your like is November 12th.